So guys, once again today I'm going to be covering the High Life DLC in depth and this time I'm going to be covering the patch 1.13 update that has just recently rolled out alongside the High Life DLC. Now I have the patch notes in front of me, there is a huge list of patch notes guys. They have patched a lot of things with this update and they have also added a bunch of things so I am going to be covering the majority of them. Also if you want to see the patch notes for yourselves, make sure you click the link down in the description below because you guys can see them there. There is far too much to cover in one video but I am going to be going over some of the main changes very shortly. Anyway guys if you do go on to enjoy the video all that I ask is that you leave a like it really does help me out and without further ado let's get right into this. So I'm going to start this off by going over some of the major exploits that actually got patched alongside the High Life update. But now I want to actually show you guys the patch notes for itself. So as you can see by this small portion on screen, it says fix an exploit where players were able to get DLC vehicles for free, fix an exploit where players were able to bring large single player only vehicles into online, and then underneath that it says fix an exploit where it was possible for players to be able to take ownership of vehicles that are too hot. So this is basically saying that all of these single player to multiplayer glitches are now patched and you guys can no longer bring single player cars to online unless a new glitch comes out which I'm presuming will happen eventually and rest assured guys when it does I will be uploading that for you guys. Anyway moving on to the next batch and starting from the top it says fixed an exploit where it was possible to set team capture areas very close to capture objects to allow players to idle and still deliver capture items so that is basically one of the RP glitches that I did a while back and that has now been patched alongside a bunch of other RP glitches that are out they have all now been patched guys so I am going to be trying to get some of them out to you guys as well anyway underneath that it says fixed an exploit where players were able to ensure any vehicle they wanted so they have now patched the infamous store any vehicle in your garage glitch but I'm presuming there may be an after patch very soon and once again any of these new glitches guys that have been patched be sure I will be there getting them ready for you guys and uploading them straight away nevertheless that is basically the insurance glitches patched and then another one that stands out to me from here it says fixed several exploits where players could become invisible and then underneath that it says fixed an exploit where players were able to purchase anything in game for zero dollars and then the last one within this batch that actually stands out to me is fixed several exploits where players were able to duplicate garages and vehicles so basically they are stating that they have patched most if not all of the recent duplication glitches although I do know a new duplication glitch that has literally just came out today so I might be putting that out tomorrow for you guys nevertheless that is all the major exploits that have been patched and money glitches are now patched too because if the majority of the car duplication glitches are patched then the majority of the money glitches are patched too as money glitches actually rely on these car duplication glitches to work as you do need to duplicate your car each time to actually do the money glitch so this is basically stating that money glitches are now patched until further notice or until some new glitches eventually come out Anyway guys that is pretty much it for the major exploits that have been fixed and now I'm going to be covering the top changes. So the top changes are a mixture of all the things that have already been added into the game and I'm going to be showing you guys now exactly what these are. Once again if you guys want to see the full list of patch notes for yourself there is hundreds of them I don't know how many there is this is by far the biggest batch of patch notes ever. And if you guys want to check them out, make sure you click the link down in the description below. But starting this off with a bang, and that bang is, as you guys can see, non-contact races have now been added into the game. So you now have an option to race against others without scratching all of your lovely paintwork. Players competing in non-contact races cannot slipstream one another. So basically, non-contact races now in the game, that is a great option that Rockstar have finally decided to add into the game. Now the next big thing for all the stunters out there, as requested by the stunting community, the changes to bike physics in a recent title update have been reverted. So basically stunting is now back, you can now glide in the air with your motorcycles like you used to. That is definitely one of the best additions that Rockstar have finally brought back to the game. It's actually been a long time since they have decided to bring that back, but now is perfect. Another one that stands out here is fixed an exploit where players were able to shoot in their garages, so that has now been patched. Maximum rank has now been capped at 8,000. I have no idea why that is such a high rank. I wonder what they're bringing in next. I'm presuming Heist is probably going to have a great RP payout. I guess we will have to wait and see when it eventually does arrive as it is going to be here very, very soon. Again, underneath that, this is a really stupid change in my opinion. Rockstar have really um, damaged themselves with this one, I guess. But as you can see, the following difficulty changes have been made to the mission Rooftop Rumble. 50% of FIB agents present at the start of the mission now have high accuracy. Additional FIB agents spawn as the player attacks the parking garage. The agents spawn in two waves of cars. 
After all of the agents on foot in the parking lot and the first wave of agents in cars are killed, the mission will either progress in 30 seconds or require players to finish off all FIB agents. The FIB agent carrying the documents Martin wants now spawns in a vehicle as the mission progresses, so they have basically completely nerfed the rooftop rumble, which in my opinion is a huge mistake. I don't know why they have to nerf all these money methods or money missions. It's ridiculous in my opinion. I want to know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave the commentary there, that was pretty much the majority of the patch notes covered. Once again, if you do want to see the full list for yourself, link down in the description down below. And with that said, if you did go on to enjoy today's video, all that I ask is that you leave a like guys, it really does help me out and it really does show support the channel. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video.